Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Grease Lightning 48 Ford kit from Rebel. Now, this is a modified reissue of the 48 Ford convertible that's been around for a while, so if you've got that kit, a lot of this is going to look familiar, but there are some new parts in here, as well as some new box art. A nice picture of the White Lightning there. Beat it on both sides. Got the legal information there, and the product photos there. That's it for packaging. And taking a look at the kit proper. First thing we've got here is a set of decals. We've got the silver with red pinstripe lightning bolts. Got some zebra print for the seats. Uh, number 21 there, you've got some damage if you want to recreate that scene from the Thunder Road Race. Some screen accurate license plates there. You got the stock 48 Ford decals. And they did include the wing window decals. Nice looking sheet here. Not a whole lot of clear around the edges, good sharp printing. So those look pretty good. You got your first chrome sprue here, which has all of the stock components for the 48 Ford. You got bumper, all of the hardware to go in and around the body, wipers, lights, dashboard right there, the stock 48 Ford grill, stock bumper, horn ring, and the four stock hubcaps. also get a custom chrome sprue that's got four reverse chrome wheels, custom grill, it's a nice see-through component for the most part, but they do seem to have some flash right here filling in the holes, and a custom grill. Now, these wheels, all four of them are the same, even though the front two are supposed to have hubcaps on them. And the instructions tell you to put the stock Ford hubcaps on those, but in the movie it was actually a set of baby moons, so you're going to have to either do some kit bashing or find some aftermarket parts for those, because that's not quite accurate. You got your glass here. Wing windows, rear window, windshield, headlights, and instrument glass. And the windshield here, the V did not quite match the V in the body. So when you get to this point, do some test fitting before you just put some glue on it and stick it in. Because it might need a little massaging, or you might just need to decide which angle looks best for it. Even if it's not 100% correct, uh, you just have to get it as close as you can. You also get a set of stock and custom taillight lenses. You've got the set of stock skinny tires, as well as a set of slightly wider printed white walls. And those are new parts for this kit. Got some nice tread detail on them. Nice clean printing on them too. You've got the body here. And it doesn't look like there's been any real mold degradation. Generally still looks nice and sharp. You got some seams to clean up right here. Down the side. And right here along the tops of the fenders. And one thing that always kind of bugged me with this kit is the trunk lid just kind of oozes into the rear fender here. There's no real seam. So if you want to make it look better, you really ought to take a scriber and just define this line a little bit better right here. Otherwise, especially in white, that's just going to all blend together. But otherwise, 
That looks pretty good. We have the hood with the obnoxious screw right to the edge of the panel. Really wish they had fixed that, but you're just gonna have to be really careful when you cut that off. And here we have the stock wheels, along with steering wheel, fan, stock exhaust, which this is another thing that's inaccurate to the movie car. You can see that it's supposed to have dual exhausts. So uh, again, if you're looking to make a screen accurate, you're gonna have to do some scratch building or kit bashing there. Got the belt assembly, intake manifold, and the heads, generator, air cleaner right there. And here you've got the main halves of the engine, along with the distributor, oil filter, master cylinder, beginnings of the suspension components. And I gotta say that as complex as all these pieces are, they fit together really well. Uh, when you get it together, the steering actually connects to both wheels and the steering box. And that's not something that you see in a whole lot of kits. So that, that was a nicely done feature on this. You got the drive shaft and rear axle, front axle, two part radiator. You got the main part of the chassis here. Two battery options, a vintage and a more modern. The heater, bumper brackets, steering column, and hood hinges. And for the bumper brackets, they recommend that you put these on as one of the very last things after the body is mounted. And that's really good in theory, because that way you can line things up. But in practice, they're not quite as sharp and square as you'd hope. So I think a better way of doing that is to mount these to the chassis before you paint everything and just set the body on it as kind of a guide. Don't glue everything together. Don't have the body painted just in case you need to adjust, readjust, and make some changes. And also, it'll give you a lot more room to work if you're not trying to fight around the body. So that's one of the things I recommend. Don't necessarily follow the instructions. Uh, put these on earlier. And you got the rest of the chassis right there. You got the four brake backers, dashboard, and firewall. And here we've got another new addition to this kit. You've got the four wheel backers for the custom chrome reverse wheels. You've got a two-part front pan for under the grill. And you've got a rear license plate bracket, which is another thing that's not screen accurate. Uh, screen accurate had a recessed license plate in the trunk lid. So again, if you really want to get it accurate, you're going to have to do some work on that. Here you've got the front seat, forward half, and the up top. And the up top is nicely detailed with ribbing and padding on the inside. So although you never saw it in the movie, it is something that is a handy feature if you wanted to include it on your build. You got the back half of the rear seat, the door panels, with some nicely molded detail there, and the rear seat. Here we've got the last few components of the suspension, including the shock absorbers and the four separate radiator hoses. Right there you've got the brake and clutch pedal. And the last sprue, you've got your floor pan, your taillight housings, the other two bumper brackets, and again, I recommend putting these on before you've got everything together, despite what the instructions say. You've got the convertible top motor, stone shields for the rear fenders, the boot for the down top, 
and the interior floor. And you've got some molded detail there. The gas pedal is cast in, and you've got that lump for locating the front bench seat. But otherwise, that's pretty good looking. And there you go. So that is the Grease Lightning 48 Ford kit. In my last video, I showed the Karate Kid 48 Ford, which is basically this kit in stock trim. And if you want to build this as a stock 48 Ford, you can absolutely do so. You don't need to go hunting down one of the older and maybe more expensive releases of this kit. But they do give you some good custom parts. It's not 100% accurate to the screen car. Like I said, you'll have to either do some scratch building or kit bashing to get some of those final details like the exhaust, the hubcaps, the trunk lid. But uh, the decals look good. This is a really nice kit overall. I didn't have any problems with the fit or finish. The few little things that I mentioned are not deal breakers by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, though with just the sheer number of parts in this kit, it is not for beginners. Uh, they've got a notation that this is a skill level 5, and they mean it. You do need to be patient when you put this together. Uh, double check everything before you put glue on it. Make sure that everything is nice and square, because if it's not, there's too many parts that are dependent upon the base of what you put together. But even so, uh, this is one of Ravel's nicer kits. So I hope this review has been helpful to you, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.